hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back so now that we've submitted our test we want to see the lecturer actually see it so i'm going to log out here and log in as my lecturer so yahoo.com and password like this so as you can see there's a notification now telling me that uh, there's a test that requires my attention now if i go to um, let me log in as let me log out first let me log in as the admin so at yahoo.com and password here so if i go to staff members and i want to use so, so there's only one lecturer mm -hmm. let's look at anna jones here profile eared it let's change this one to lecturer for a second save back to profile she's now a lecturer and let's log in as Anna Jones so as an admin here I have the power to mark this test as well now if you want you can limit the marking uh, to actually we should do that limit this to only uh, I think it actually is limited to that let me log out for a second let's log in as Anna and let's solve that issue once and for all okay so as you can see Anna cannot see that test to mark so only um, only the lecturers that own that test or they are, they created it either they created the test or they are part of the lecturers in that test then they can see the two mark there so i think uh, that is a good thing so that's what i wanted to check on that one but let's go back to um, vibe who is the actual teacher at yahoo.com now of course the reason why the lecturer can see the two mark here is because oh, not the lecturer the admin is because the admin is privileged to everything so let me click here and uh, let's see here if i now i can see this test done by guy dude and he answered 100 percent of it so i can click to mark this test if i want i can unsubmit this test because uh for one reason or another because maybe they didn't answer all the questions i can click unsubmit uh, the dates show quite well then we will add functionality to auto mark very soon to make sure that um, marking is can be automatically done as well so this test has been submitted which is cool and um, what else here um, i need to mark so this is a teacher answer for correct what is john's favorite color uh, maybe i don't know i can say wrong here just to show that wrong can work as well this one is correct let's save the marks and so it shows me that this is 100 percent marked okay now you could add an extra sentence here this test has been submitted and marked if it was marked so but you can still see here it says 100 percent marked anyway so that's all good and uh let's see what else what else mm. set as marked here that's what the teacher will do but before um, the teacher sets this as marked let's go back as a uh, I won't be able to see this because I've set this no I've actually not set this as marked have I let's click let me refresh the page here okay so to mark is still there okay that's good so let me log out and log in as guy let's put the password there and the reason i'm doing this is because if i go to my tests here and take this test this test has been answered 100 percent i don't see any scores here whatsoever right for me i've just submitted this test and that's the end of it if i go to my profile I don't see um, that test uh, shown here at all okay 
so it's not showing here as one test that I've taken and has been marked already because I need the score here only shows up here and answered 100% it shows that so this is all good let me log out let's go back to being a teacher and let's do at yahoo.com and let's put password there and two mark so answered now it would help as well to see how much of this has been marked if i am a lecturer or um, maybe not that way it's more helpful for me just the same way the student can see what work they have done so far how much of the test they have answered that way if there's a long list i can know which ones to go for depending on how much of it i have marked so uh let's see how we can figure that out because if i click here on marked 100 percent i can copy whatever i'm using here for the other side so what i'll do is just go to this is mark test view so this is the view for mark test and let's go to views and let's see mark test where are we mark test sub view so there's this way to get the marked percentage so i just want to copy this okay good then now if i go to um is it marked no to mark yes let's see to mark here it does have a score button to mark here it doesn't have anything so let's go to mark where is that here to mark ink that's the one it has date submitted and it has answered but it doesn't have this so here marked percentage should show at least so let me paste uh, answered marked like this actually maybe there's something i'm using this for which is take this test right 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 so instead of putting that there um let me remove that instead let me duplicate this and write marked but then i'll need an if statement there but let me leave that one on top for now let me put the table data here to add one more and paste it here so i need the test id and I need the user ID to know how much that user has marked this test. Now, the thing is, um, I actually don't know why I need the user ID for marked percentage. Does it even do anything? Because whoever is marking, it doesn't really matter, does it? no it does not or it should not at least we just need the test id per se now i know the test id here is gotten through this so i'm just going to copy that here as well but here we definitely do not need uh, the user id i think now in order to confirm that let me just go to my functions let me copy this and let's go to core and functions let me find this one let's see what user id is actually doing here so user id user id so select question id um, from answers where user id user oh i see what's going on here so the user id is the user's user id so it makes sense now so let me paste that here as well i thought it was the lecturer's user id then that didn't make much sense but let me copy this and let's put down here and marked percentage. Let's paste that here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that does it. So if I now refresh, I get marked 100%, uh, answered 100%. Cool. And now I can click here and set this as marked yes yes boom okay so there we go
So this is the percentage I get. Now, this doesn't look very appealing at all, if you ask me. 66.6667 isn't a number that humans want to see. We don't need this kind of, this level of precision. So let's go to mark test. Um, wait a minute, marked test, is that it? Mark test, not marked, but mark test right here. Actually, it's the view we are looking for. So mark test ink, where is that? Mark test tab ink there. So we have this here is equal to that. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to do is round off these values. I need to round them off. Now, there are several ways to round these values. If you want to leave the decimal places, for example, what you can use is what is called number format. So I can do this with say number format like this, and then put the value like in this case, this is the result of the percentage. So let me move this away and do this. So number format, let me refresh. Nothing has changed, right? Now, if I do comma two like this, that means I want only two decimal places of that number. So this is what's changing here, I noticed. So let me undo this and see if that is working. Okay, so nothing changed there. It's changing on this one. If I want the decimal places, I'll do two like this. And as you can see, the 100 will have a 0.00%. So this is clearly not where we want to be uh, putting this. I want to put this on the large view, test score right here. And the value is right there. So like I said, if I do number format like that and close it there and save, let's see what that does. Okay, unmatched closing tag. Uh, what is going on here? Number format percent score. What is it saying? Online three. Oh, I see. So maybe when uh, removing this, I forgot one of those. Cool. Refresh. Yeah, so number format rounds it up to the required uh, uh, section. Now, you can put comma 2 to put a decimal, two decimal places if you want. That may be something you want, and you can add as many decimal places as you want. Maybe you can say four, then it will do that. Now, the other way to do this is to either round it off and just say round like this. Round. This will round the number, of course. So refresh and round is there. So this could be a better way of doing this. Now, what round does is if a number is halfway towards the other one, it round up. If the number is down, it round down. Now, for example, let's say you have a number called uh, like 0 0.5. This would be rounded down to one. If you have 0 0.4, it will go to zero. So it will be rounded down to zero. 0 0.5 will be rounded up to one. So that's how this works. Now, if you want to be explicit, you can tell it to flow the value. So flowing the value means if it's 66.7, like here, you to round it down. So you see it goes to 66 instead of 67. So flow rounds down always. And then there's ceiling, which rounds up all the time. So if I do this, it will always round up. So in situations like this, I think it's better to just use round as the value. So let's round everything from here, right at the source, right? That way, every uh, place where we use this will have a rounded value. Okay, cool. Let me refresh. Oh, for some reason that didn't work at all. Why not?
Why not? Hmm. Round. Huh. Marked percentage. This seems like it should actually work, but uh, why isn't it working? Hmm? Very strange. Oh, yeah, because I'm getting more percentages down here. And that's what I'm using down there. Okay, man, I see. Get score percentage. What's the difference here? Ah, right. Quite a number of things here. In any case, let's put round on the sources regardless. So save that and let's refresh. We get a rounded value. Now, another way to do this is instead of putting all these round here, round there, um, let me undo all of this. Oopsie. The other alternative is to go to the source itself. So inside functions.php, anything with percentage, right? Let's say this one, uh, get answered percent. The result should be rounded off. So let's do this round like this. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Rounding a zero. I should use the round over here. So this one has percentage as well. So every return, like here, that's where we're returning something. Let's round that off. And same thing here at the very end. Let's round this one off. This way, at least, we get the results. Wherever we've already used the function, we get a good round result. But why are we getting 100% though? This, this is insane. Uh, uh, this does not work at all. Okay, so remember that uh, the reason why this is giving me 100% vibes is because I'm rounding this section right here without the 100%. So this is not cool. So put a bracket on all of it finally, like that. Let's do the same thing up here. So this was the wrong thing to do. Because what I'm telling is it is to round off this division and then multiply by 100. This is why it's returning 100%. So you have to be careful about small things like this that may affect your results. So, yeah, I think uh, that does it. Get answer marked. Okay, cool. Let's refresh and finally we have proper numbers here. Okay, very cool, very nice. Now that we have a score here, let's see what the student is privileged to see.